A penny for the fox. Oh, it's nothing. Um, I was just thinking about... About what? Don't tell me your floor has stopped. No. Today makes it seven years that I've been married without a child. I know today makes it seven years, but why do you have to keep torturing yourself over that? Well, I believe that at the dearness of time, God will fulfill his promises to you. You will have a child. When? When? Why not now? I owe you for your love and endurance. I just have to give you a child to make you happy, oh God. Who says I'm not happy? <laughs> Who says I'm not happy married to a woman like you? Both of us are medically sound. The Bible is replete with people who have been through worse circumstances than, than ours and they came out smiling with their own children. If the worst comes to the worst, we'll go to the motherless baby home and adopt a child or two. Good morning, madam. Uh-huh. Um, madam, there's a little problem. What do you mean? You know that girl, that very girl. She's sleeping outside. She, she's outside the gate, still sleeping. You are an idiot. Didn't I tell you I don't want to see her around this premises? Madam, I do as you talk, but uh, there was one that I did a problem. I, as I was just saying, like, I close my eyes more. She can't come. I don't know. Connie guy, she can't sleep. I don't know. That girl is evil. Go get her for me. Go and call her for me. Go and call her for me. Okay. How are you, Tito? Good morning. Good morning. Um, Madame Yen want to see you. Huh? I say Madame Yen want to see you. Follow me. Give it there, give it there, give it there. What do you mean? have anywhere to go to. I don't have anybody to talk to. I'm alone in this whole world. What about your parents, your uncle, or whatever? I don't have any man. I'm an orphan. Then why don't you go to the orphanage home? I'm pregnant, ma. Pregnant for who? For Harry. For Harry? No. He just a little wretched gold digger. You want to live here? No way. You better get out of this house. 
before I send you to your early grave. Please, please. Please, what? If you know what is good for you, go and get rid of that pain in your womb. If not, you will suffer and die with it. Do you understand? Please. Get out of here! Please, I'm going to take her out of here! Madam, please. Duke. Madam, Where is please. Do, I'm, I'm calling you. Don't let me do my job. Don't. I'm sorry, please. Madam, oh, call. Oh, call. Madam, if please. I ever see this girl around this premises, you are sacked. And for you, Madam, take this one and get rid of this thing in your room. Take it away from my house. Come on. 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 Don't cry. Look, I cannot solve this problem. Madam, no go here. If you talk for, if you die, cry from now till tomorrow, Madam, no go here. The only thing is to go to Ayegune. You know, Ayegune. Go there and talk some, talk to people there. Let them help you solve your problem. I don't know anywhere. I don't. Look, it is very simple. Just you enter, even you get to the bus stop, very close to you are a You take some, you take a bus going to Ayegune, at that young shop. Okay? I don't want to lose my job. <laughs> All right, I can talk for now. I'm going inside. I don't want to lose my job. Ajebule. Ajebule. Yeah. I want to we don't feel like this. So we just get to join you. Mm. We just, you see people from Ajebule, they just keep us from that Ajebule. I just uh, go straight to that, just, uh, to that place. I won't branch anywhere. And we just stay down. Okay. okay? Thank you. All right. Thank you very much. God bless. Eh, eh. Brother. Excuse me. How much? How much do you collect from me? I don't really know, but when you get out of this, I'm going to have to take it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, I'm afraid. If you go back to Lagos, you'll forget me. How, how can you say that? You know, true love is like true fire that burns in your mind. It, it, it's ever burning. It never hurts. It's never old, nor young, or tires. It just keeps burning, keeps getting stronger and stronger. I love you. Remember how close sides are? I knew you were going to see that. But, um, I mean, just like the beam of the sun, and the breeze of the sea, the waves come with the sea, they, they, they are compacted, they are always compacted, they are together. It's like you and I, we are meant to be together. Ejoka, 
residence. Henry, you are a disgrace to this family. So if your father had been alive, would you have been going around impregnating young girls? You don't understand what? Which girl were you sleeping around with in the village? So it's true. And you have the God to say it. Eh? Anyway, I have given her money for abortion. I can see that you don't even know your class. Shameless thing. Who says? Mommy, hi. Oh, my dear. How are you? Hi, thank you. Who was that that you were talking to on the phone that was hearing your voice from the gate? It's your brother, Henry. Just five days he spent in the village. One wretched looking girl in a filthy dress came in to say she's pregnant for him. Can you imagine that? A girl from the village? Yes. Is this a joke or something? This is no joke. Anyway, how was the story? Not bad at all, except for this the usual normal strike. So how have you been? Well, I'm fine. I'm managing. Did you bring anything? Don't worry, I'll see you later. Come, go, please. <laughs> So, how are you doing that? So, my sister, that is the story of my life. It is quite pathetic. Anyway, like they say, she who has a heart to love should also have the heart to bear the bruise of it. Sometimes, love hurts. Now, it's a place I can lay my head. Well, if you don't mind here, though the roof is leaking, when it rains, it gets flooded, the latrine stinks. I practically struggle for space with cats and rats. I sleep with bugs and roaches. But still, I know I am lucky to have a place in that city. I don't mind. Thank you very much. It's no problem. Don't mention. Mm. So, what can I offer you? Mm. What will you eat? My sister, at this time of my life, it is not what I need. It is what I say. Mm. Anything. Come on, don't say that. Let me get pop on that car so that we can eat, okay? Mm. Okay. Thank, Thank you yeah. very much. I'm coming.
Hi, baby. Hi. Morning, mom. Morning. And where are you going to with this traveling bag? I'm going to the village for a short trip. I want to go and find Chichi. Do you have any message for the people at home? You are mad. Who do you want to go and see at the village? That little, wretched, ugly looking girl? Oh my god. Are you sick upstairs? No, Mom, honestly, you're overreacting again. Okay, come on. Look, she's ugly, she's poor, or even if she's wretched, it's inconsequential to me. Look, if you must know more, we're talking about a human being here. And I love her very much. How dare you talk back at me? You just shameless thing. I'm sure you know the worst you can do is slap me. That's the answer to everything. Brute force. Take care of yourself, Mom. You'll be take care of her. I'll see you Henry. Soon. Henry. If you ever leave this house to the village, don't you ever come back to this house. I'm tired of your empty threats, Mom. You forget that this is my house. My father's house. I will surely come back here. If there's anybody that needs to leave this house, it's here. You go back to your father's house. Take care of our baby. I'll come. Harry, 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 just take care of yourself. Mom, why don't you just leave Harry alone? I think Harry has been caught in a love when. Or something. Will you shut up your dirty mouth? What do you know about Harry? Get back to what you're doing! You're in. Ah, welcome. Any luck? Lagos is indeed a place of good and rest. <laughs> Lagos, Lagos. The land of myth and fantasy. The city of hope and utopia. Many come in search of fortunes, but later discover that not all that glitters is gold. Just a few days in Lagos. I have seen poverty and plenty. Tears and laughter, ups and down. My dear, life here is rough. Survival is tough. Many cry, for they can't find neither food nor shelter. So, how do you survive amidst these chaos and frustrations? <laughs> I survive. I survive because I'm a Nigerian. I survive because I'm born to survive. I wish I could survive.
Good morning, lady. Good morning. How's your head? The girl brought you here and she told you were going to die. And as soon as she heard it, I put the bill and commenced treatment. You have been here for the last three days. I'm not going far. You don't feel any pain in your stomach. You need to rest. You come back to see me. about the pregnancy. How oh, the pregnancy is sick. Uh, it's not badly affected at all. No, doctor, please. No. No. I, I don't want to keep the baby. I want this pregnancy to be related, please. Gigi, why? Why? You have a good Couples are crying day in, day out to God for this golden gift. And their prayers are paid. You have it, and you want to destroy it. Let me tell you, Dr. Joe, my boss, with all his riches, with his caliber, for seven years, he has been looking for this golden gift for God. You have it here. under the bridges and in the streets it 
meant to roam the streets without food. Ruth. No one to talk to. I know where to run to. It even pains more to be a refugee when you hold the fantasy. I'll bring your meat pie and eat it myself. I know you will do that. <laughs> Any big watcher. <laughs> oh, okay. Thanks, gentlemen. Thanks. I'll call you. Baby. Baby, what's the problem? See, um, you know that girl I met at the restaurant? I still find it difficult to believe she's not the one. Listen, Harry. I am really disappointed in seeing you worry yourself over nothing. I mean, that girl does not want the agony you inflict on yourself. Look, if that girl was really interested in you, she would have at least kept to one of the one million dates or appointments you had with her. Come on, Henry. You, you know I hate to see you in this room. It's okay, baby. I'll be all right. Eh? You sure? Yeah, baby. Thanks. Take care.
Madam, any problem? Are you a problem solver? Huh? Will you get the hell out of my sight? Get out! Get out! Treating this girl like a house girl. Did I hear you say house girl? Why would you tell me? How many house girls live the way she does? She lives in this house with you. Eats virtually everything she wants. Designer's clothes. You say she's a house girl. Huh? When I was it? How much help did I get from you? House girl. Girl, did. Sometimes I just don't understand you. Don't even try to! Don't try to! Listen, I am tired and confused of the way you treat her! She deserves it. I can have a whole lot more. Mm. Is that what you say? By the way, when did all this start? Right at the same time you started your pranks. My pranks? Yes. You too! I thought she said she fixed this room. Where is that 
Go. Shake, shake. And Madame, you did. Madame, you don't talk that. I make I know about you to enter here. See, I am not whom you think I am. My name is Eva, and I have not met you before, have I? Maybe you need Eva. Maybe you, Johnny. Maybe you come the other time talk that hey, your name is not Tintin. Talk that Andy, that Andy don't give you better. Now they talk that hey, your name is not Eva. And you think that because you don't go where you are. And then this thing, Madame, you know, know you. What kind of insult is this? Is this a joke or something? I'm not joking here. I'm not joking. Look, Madame, you didn't say. I go know who the embarrassment. I'm going in time. Madam, I don't want to tell Madam. Eva, I'm really, really sorry for that embarrassment. Is that right? Please accept. Thank you. Would you like to watch a movie? Mommy, hi. Good evening. What? What are you doing in my house? Haven't I told you never to come into this house again? You witch. No, it's not how you are. You're out of that gate now. Or else. Mommy, she's not cheating for for heaven's sake. Will you shut up your mouth? Shut that trap!
while I was away in the United States and mom embarrassed her so badly the poor girl ran away and since then I've not had contact with her. Mom claimed she hated her because she was a village girl and came from a family that had no name. It's crazy. Um, honestly Henry, for God's sake, how can a mother raise her hands on someone's child? That's bad. Look, I understand. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry about all this. I just don't know any other way to express how sorry I am. It's alright. Okay? For my sake, forgive her, okay? It's okay, no problem. Thank you. <laughs> Babe, I'm going to be late. My flight is 12 30. Honey, how many days are you going to stay? Are you spending in the States? Mm, <laughs> about three weeks. I'll be there till I complete the project. I'm three weeks? Out. Did you say three weeks? But I told you before. Mm, how can I go without you for three weeks? Come on. <laughs> you, know, you know, absence makes the mind grow fonder. <laughs> You're saying you miss me? Yes, I'm gonna miss you seriously. So, yeah. what about that? Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> mm. <laughs> Wait. Let's make love. Oh, darling, please. Why do we have to rush into it as if we just want to have our feel and the spice? 
I'll miss my flight anyway. I'm not an Hindu me noodle man. I'll do it all night. Oh, I'm really going to miss you. I miss you too. Come on, I have to catch my flight. Okay? All right. Grab the other bag. No, the stuff I have, I have, I picked up from Mom's room. Okay. Come on, my shoes, my oh, trainers. What, what is that bag? No, 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 I don't need it. My okay. trainers are outside. Come on. Shut the door. So good to see you. Diva. Wonderful. Sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down. Steve. Diva. <laughs> you abandoned me. Why? Okay. I'm sorry. Um, Joy. This is Steve Williams. My schoolmate and an ex-boyfriend. Hey. Poor introduction. Eva, you call me an ex-boyfriend after all I've done for you? Come off it, baby girl. I deserve an apology now. <laughs> Eve, I'm sorry. But um, come to think of it, we were never lovers, were we? <laughs> Would you ever believe that a guy-girl relationship could ever be platonic? Please, send me the stress and emotional pain. <laughs> You're still the old Steve I used to know. The slick. And I'm still real. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what's up? Cool. Um, what do we get for you, please? A cheap bottle of stout would be okay. Okay. Um, Joy. So. So, how has it been? With you? Eva. <laughs> Rejecting me is like killing me before my death. Thinking of all the love we've shared together, all the things we've done together, how much I've sacrificed for you. How could you uplift my hope and abandon it without conscience? <clears throat> we were never lovers, Steve, and you know it. Why are you making me feel guilty? But you made me believe you were in love with me. How can you believe I'm in love with you? I never said to you I love you. See, Steve, we were friends, yes. Maybe love would have worked out between us. But I'm sorry it's too late. I already have someone in my life and I love him very much. Eva, you know I hate people toiling with my emotions. I could be stupid at times, and I'm sure you know that. Please forget it, forget it. It will never work out between us, and I'm serious, very serious. Come in, the door is open. Um, pardon me, sweet people. I'm looking for an angel I left behind. Jesus Christ! <laughs> <laughs> mm. Mm. How you doing? I'm fine. Turn around you. for me, baby. Look at you. I really left an angel here. Yeah. Oh. I've got something for you. What? I bought it from Asia. Like it? Good. This is beautiful. It's not as beautiful oh, as you, though. I love it. How does it fit? Yeah. Oh, that was great. <laughs> Thank you very much. Mm, you're welcome. Thank you. And it's splendid seeing you again. You look like a movie star. I feel like a movie star. <laughs> welcome. Thank you. Uh, um, so where's Joy? I have something for her in the car. Joy? Uh, mm -hmm. She's gone out. She's gone out? Yes. Um, who's the brother man? Oh, um, this is uh, Steve, my schoolmate. Yes. Hey. And uh, Steve, um, my fiancé, Henry. What's <laughs> up, <laughs> homeboy? Oh, it's a pleasure meeting you, okay? 
so warm, sweetheart. I know you missed me. Very much, <laughs> very <laughs> much. <laughs> So how are you doing? I'm fine. I missed you so much. <laughs> no, missing you is like being a prisoner. Uh oh. But well, the point here is that you no, know, I have to facilitate other means to make sure my project finishes on time. Okay. So here I am. I love you very much. I love you too, sweet. <laughs> well, I would have been here earlier, but I, you know, I went from LA, stopped by New York to see a friend of mine. Uh -huh. Then we went over to party to see a couple of things. I know I have business there too. Okay. Then Dubai, that's where I picked up this of course. <laughs> oh yes, yeah, it's beautiful. I love it. Ah, thank you, my love. Yeah, you're welcome. Thanks, sweetheart. Mm -hmm. well, why don't you get us on the drink, like a glass of water, right? All right, I'll do that. Hey, your muscle man is leaving. Steve, where to? I'm going home. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, just give me um. One minute, let me see you. Don't worry, I'll take care of myself. Okay. This is your sickness on day too much. <laughs> but I will want one. This one with no money for my hand. Don't worry. I'll go come on, go find money. You hear? You cannot seek here. Yeah? Hmm? You cannot seek again. You cannot seek. Oh, it's even that you're doing this thing. You two damn bitch. So all this time you were hanging out with that one piece of trash. You can have a fucking thing. Get off! Please. Long after the music has stopped. Come on. Just confront him. Alright. Yeah, bye. I love. Baby. Who was that on the phone? Mm, it was Eva. Eva. Henry, she's sorry. She's sorry. How many times have I told you before? Stay out of my face. Do you understand that? Stay the hell out of my face. I'm your older brother for Christ's sake. I don't need you coming into my face and poking around. Henry! Do you know what she did? Oh no, you're not aware. But look at you, you're just prying into my face. I introduced that to you, not vice versa. Have I made myself clear? Allow me to work my problems out. You are prying into my private affairs. And you're beginning to act like a mom. Excuse me. I have already made myself very clear. Please hold on. Ah, Uncle Harry, good evening. Hello, sweetheart. How are you? Yeah, thank you. Where is uh, Where is she? 
in our bedroom. Okay, why don't you finish with TV and go to bed? I'm not going. Okay, let's go. The Virgin. I think he was trying. No, he didn't succeed. Um, you came in on time and intervened. He wanted to wreck me. Look, I'm sorry. Okay, I, I saw you there. You looked like you were enjoying the whole thing. I was trying to break free. Can we make love now? Mm -hmm. Yes. Food is ready. Hey, baby. What's up? But then now, guess who's coming to dinner? Carolina. No, Carolina. <laughs> Ooh, smells good. Mm -hmm. Well. Come, how come you have more meat than me? What do you expect? I'm the baby of the house. <laughs> okay, I could put you there. <laughs> Hi. Hello. Hello. <laughs> you arrived on time. Yes, and I came at the right time. Okay. Yeah, sit down. When are you? Yeah, sure. I will. Um, Harry, mm -hmm. please, I would like to talk with you. Mm -hmm. Why don't you sing us well, talk? Please. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm so hungry. I'm with this food. Right. Hey, my please. Baby, um, let me excuse you, guys. No, you oh. can go with your food. I just want to talk with you. Don't worry. No, I'm going inside my room. Don't worry. Baby, you don't mind, though. Very much. You don't mind, though. Mm -hmm. I... You don't mind, though. Mm -hmm. Talk, girl. Talk. Can you please listen to me? I'm listening to you. I'm eating with my mouth, not my ears. I, I don't know how to start. That's what I'm eating. Just sit down for Christ's sake. I just need to think. Sit down. Are you sure? Ah, uh, okay, okay, yeah.
how are you doing? Fine, sir. How is your mom and Becky? Uh, Becky, yeah, they are fine, sir. They are cool. Now, I'm going to have a one with you for a second. Ah, go on. Oh, yes. Larry, I don't think you're serious. Look, I have a patient down there. I have to be able okay. to help. Henry, talk. I'm listening. Look, have you infested yourself with any of the STDs? Yeah, Then why? Have you impregnated a girl? Because if you don't stay, there's too much she, she's pregnant. Let me just go and see to my patient, right? I'll see you. Hey, Uncle, just a minute, there's something. Uncle, there's another detail. She's pregnant for you. Yes, Uncle, I'm aware. 
Henry, that little poor orphan is seven months, two weeks pregnant. She has suffered for shelter, starvation and humiliation. She has gone through the agonies of the worst kind. Look, ever since she was born, 21 years ago, by her careless mother, who just, you know, abandoned her when she was eight months to a nanny. And she just disappears into thin air. Till now, this girl is still suffering. She is at the peak of death. Henry, let me tell you, all hope is on God. You cry now. She will not die. She will not die. I heard her story. I'm also a victim of such circumstance. Not quite long ago, the doctor I have lived with all my life, thinking he's my father, broke the eyes and told me the story of my life. How I was abandoned 21 years ago on a sick bed by an unknown woman. It's okay, it's okay. Shh, 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 okay. Everything is going to be fine. She's going to be all right. Okay. Hmm? Don't worry. Doctor, I hope nothing is going to happen no, to her. No, nothing is going to happen to her. Life is like that. It's happening to her. No, no, listen to this. When I listen to both, you know, girls, Whatever they told me, their stories. I mean, everything seems the same. Yes. So I'll, I'll, I'll be glad if, if, if you are free, you, you, you could just pop into the uh, hospital and then let's see how best we can solve this puzzle. Yes. Henry, Henry and the lady are, are still around. Okay, dog. I'll be expecting you. When are you coming? Okay, okay, I'll be expecting you. Okay, bye bye. It's a lie. <laughs> but how can? Is, is he blind? Henry came to my office today with a girl for a pregnancy test. Mm -hmm. That girl looks exactly like Chi Chi. I mean, she is Chi Chi's photocopy. You cannot spot a single difference between the two of them. When I heard both their stories, I felt like crying. Would you believe that Chichi's mother abandoned her 21 years ago when she was eight months at the hands of a nanny? She has never known her mother. Today the nanny is dead and she's just like an orphan. The other girl's story is about the same thing. She was abandoned 21 years ago at exactly eight months also, but this time at a hospital sick bed. I don't know what this world is coming to. Judith. Can you take me there? Please. Please, Joe, please. I beg you. Can you take me there? I have to see them, please. Please, I beg you, please. Please. 
Please do this for me. Hello.